This is awesome. Let's just jump right into it. All right, every comic does stand up for a reason. I was a fat kid, I'd never been to therapy. Here we are. I was 11 years old, I weighed 170 pounds. I'm not exaggerating when I say I was a fat kid. I don't mean the kind of fat where it's like, oh my God, your cheeks are so chubby and cute. No, I mean the kind of fat where it's like, oh my God, Augustus, you got out of the chocolate river. I'd be waddling around as a kid, das is good chocolate, and just shove it in my face. And I put tartar sauce on everything as a kid. Why? Mayonnaise by itself is gross. Relish by itself is weird. You combine the two, it's a fat kid kryptonite. I can't explain. <laughs> to this day, every time I drive by a Long John Silver's, I salivate like a Pavlovian dog, like, oh my God. <laughs> and I grew up as a fat kid in the 90s when bullying was cool. I don't know if you remember that. In the 90s, bullying fat kids was more popular than the skip it. Like everyone was doing it. Kids in elementary school thought it was hilarious to just run up to me and grab my tits, you know, just. And I couldn't do anything about it back then, so I might be over 20 years late on this, but you know, hashtag me too, all right? It's just. And there was so much discrimination against fat kids in the 90s. We couldn't even go clothing shopping with the rest of the kids. We got sectioned off. We had to go all the way to the back of the store. We had to knock on a wall three times squeeze our way into a narrow passageway into a magical land known as the Husky section, bitches. <laughs> AKA Mini Lane Brian, AKA big and not tall. That's where we had to shop. <laughs> and even in the Husky section, nothing fit. As a fat kid, you wanted a shirt, you had two options, football jersey, hockey jersey. That was it. <laughs> Adults would be running up to me like, oh, look at you, are you a Vancouver Canucks fan? I was like, no. It's just their logo covers both of my nipples, so. <laughs> and even sports was discriminatory. One year I wanted to sign up for football, but it was based on weight classes, right? I went to sign up with my mom. The coach looked at me then looked at my mom and whispered to her as if my fat ears couldn't hear. He was like, uh, yeah, if your son wants to play football this season, uh, he's gonna have to be drafted to the NFL because Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna kill one of our children. I'm looking for blockers, not bulldozers. My God. And because of that, I never got a chance to play football, but now I have two healthy knees. So thank you, childhood obesity. I may never score a touchdown, but I could sure as hell do a touchdown dance pain-free. And on top of being a fat kid, I was also a Boy Scout. What a combo. <laughs> you know what you learn when you're a fat kid and a Boy Scout? You learn how to be a virgin until you're 23 years old. <laughs> I nailed that life lesson. God. But the one good thing I will say about being a fat kid, did whatever I wanted, no fear. Every one of us had a fat friend growing up. That kid was like, whatever. I was 11 years old, I weighed 170 pounds. Who's gonna kidnap me? Nobody, you know? <laughs> you wanna take me home, you better have a stock refrigerator and a bank account to back that shit up. I don't want no scrubs. I would go outside to play by myself, looking at it like an athlete. I was like, well, the kidnapper thinks he's gonna lift me up today. <laughs> he's gonna earn it, yeah. You better lift with the core. I'm gonna give you a hernia, put you on the DL, buddy. Matter of fact, you know what? I'll just do you a solid. Is that your van over there with the candy? I'll just meet you in there. Let's have a good time. 